Well, the first time I heard Marshall's voice, uh, it reminded me of the music I'd heard in Turkey somewhat, uh, which I didn't understand, but I could feel. I could feel. I didn't know what they were saying, but I could feel it. Same thing with the Oriental music. I'm, I'm attracted to Oriental music, too. Don't know what he's saying, but I've always been somewhat attracted to it. So I was attracted, even though I didn't know what was going on. So in the voice, I thought it was kind of haunting, like, hear me. You must hear me. It's like she was screaming out to hear me. That's what I felt from Masa. I heard a song, um, the name was Why We Should Say Goodbye. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and I really, I, uh, I heard it several times and uh, really I enjoyed, enjoyed a lot. And I was so wondered by the way he sang this beautiful song and really uh, it made me cry, <laughs> and now also sometimes I hear to that song. <laughs> uh, the thing that I found uh, uh, in, in both of our music that uh, it is it is maybe it's it is sorrowful, but it is full of hope. Yes. I think it is uh, it is a kind of the story of of hope, aspiration the story of sorrow, the story of pain, everything, a story of love. And uh, so I found these common things. Uh, naturally, uh, our music also carries uh, these uh, pains, these uh, hopes, these loves, longing, desire, and aspiration. <laughs> and that's what I hear. I hear massive voice that is screaming out. It's screaming out. Somebody hear me. Somebody hear me. That's what it sounds like. It sounds like somebody crying out. That's what I heard and felt from her voice. Even though I didn't understand what she was saying before I saw the lyrics, I still felt her. I could feel. I could feel. This project, all, all project, uh, it is a kind of discovery and revelation for me. It reveals a lot of things for me as a person, so it was also revealed more and more, and I understood that a human heart is one in the world. It is, it is the way that we could easily sing together, and I learned a lot, I discovered more about the wonder of heart. <laughs> it, it was the same thing as, as, as Master Voice, uh, I, I just really never really anticipated me singing with these different kinds of instruments. Uh, uh, so it was, the whole thing was actually, I told my wife when I got home, this was more of a spiritual project to me than I could have ever imagined. When I left the studio with you guys, I cried in my car. I was so humbled because I had no idea that it was going to be that meaningful to me. So it was a very humbling experience for me. And as I talk about it, I get choked up because it, I believe in God totally. And I believe in God to lead me. And uh, I felt very thankful that I had surrendered my spirit enough to be led and to be a part of this project for which I didn't have no idea what it was really about. And I almost rejected it when it first got presented to me because I really didn't hear it. I didn't even hear a voice at first. But then when I heard it, man, it's like, I've been crying ever since. I haven't stopped crying, <laughs> you know. It's, just, <laughs> it's a, this is bigger than all of us, I think. I think all of us here are involved in this. It's ordained, I think, by God. You know? And I think we are fortunate enough, blessed enough to be able to open our hearts enough to participate. And I think that's where we are. We are all here participant of this wonderful, wonderful, project and mission.